guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. Um, today we're gonna go ahead and take down uh, the red zone no item sweeping challenge. Uh, still, there's a lot of teams to work on after the worldwide download celebration. We had four new 200% teams. Now Kid Goku's got his 200% team as well. So there's a lot of red zones. I'm still wrapping up. Um, so today we're gonna take Final Form Cooler into the movie red zone. Um, now, remember, the movie Red Zone still has a couple of tough stages. Now, obviously, a bunch of these stages have sort of uh, aged out of difficulty, right? A lot of these are just not really um, up to par with these recent releases that Cooler's team has, right? The Movie Boss and Terrifying Conqueror team. We have a core that we could use here of LR Final Form Cooler, um, LR Golden Frieza, and LR Metal Cooler, which is just ridiculous, right? We could use this trio... To pretty much sweep all stages in the game. Um, and then on Final Form Cooler's team, we have LR Janemba as well. Uh, this first fight against Turles is, you know, a joke. Uh, Turles is not meant to do battle with, like, LR Metal Cooler and stuff, right? <laughs> Next, we're moving on to Lord Slug. Uh, by the way, I mean, just getting to this fight right here, I do really feel like we we need a celebration centered around the Lord Slug movie. I don't care, okay? I, we Old Lord Slug doesn't have a card in Dokkan yet. We need that, right? Some sort of transforming Lord Slug. Um, I think we could get, like, a Goku Dokkan fest from the Slug movie as well. Now, obviously, everyone's going to want the full Super Saiyan but I think it's much more likely that it would be, like, a base form Goku or Kaioken. And then I think that, like, him sort of doing the full Super Saiyan would just be, like, an animation or something like that, right? Because no game, not even Dragon Ball Heroes or anything like that, really officially recognizes it. It was just Toei's interpretation at the time of Super Saiyan before Super Saiyan was officially unveiled, right? But I think it could easily be, like, a Kaioken Dokkan Fest where that, you know, animation or something like that is, is you know, um... A part of the card but uh maybe i'm the only person waiting on the lord slug dokkan fest but i'll tell y'all i am waiting on the, the, the lord slug dokkan fest uh meanwhile 
the LR Final Form Cooler team, right? Th this team is just too strong for these these fights, right? Like, Final Form Cooler, Metal Cooler, Golden... For, like, it, it, it's, it's not until we get to the end of this red zone that even there's much I can provide commentary for, right? Like, we could take these Juggernauts in here 55% and we're dominating, right? And then we got Easy A Base Cooler as well. Like, it's just absolute decimation. All right, next we're moving on to the OG cooler fight. Not really too sure what to call this. I mean, because we have two um, red zone stages. It, it, it is funny, right? There's 19 red zone stages right now. Two of them are, are the, the first cooler movie. Um, this one is far easier than the second one. The other one in the Wicked Bloodline red zone is hell, right? It's very difficult in there um, because, you know, that cooler turn one is the hardest hitting red zone boss. And then you have to go up against his final form, which is, like, basically Omega. It gets very, very tough, right? Uh, but here, this is, you know, still sort of a warm-up. Um, I think the cooler at the end of this fight can hit pretty hard, actually. But it's a countdown super attack, right? So it's not really too intimidating. It being a countdown super attack means it's oh, his super is always in the last spot of the second rotation. Um, you know, it knowing where the enemy super attack is does cut you know most of the difficulty of this game right because at that point we could just put whatever designated character we have that can tank in front of it and we're completely good to go and you know you guys know how you do these red zone fights um you primarily build your team um around characters that have type advantage in the final phase well unfortunately for this cooler fight cooler's last phase is physical so, when we have double LR Final Form Cooler and EZA Base Cooler, there's just literally nothing this Cooler fight can do to us, right? We're just going to go in there, and we're just going to kick his teeth in.
right, next we move on to the Android 13 fight. Now, it's funny, this fight is, like, super free uh, for basically every 200% team. I don't... I can't remember struggling with this fight with any 200% team. Maybe... Maybe I had difficulty with the Goku and Gohan team. I don't remember having difficulty with this fight, though. Um, but this fight is not that bad. Uh, Android 13 is tricky because he, he cancels the strongest thing you can do, which is dodge, right? Again, if you dodge, you, you can't lose, right? You literally cannot lose. Um, so the two Android 13 faces canceling dodge is actually, you know, pretty tough to sort of work around. Um, and then the problem with this fight and how they made it super easy is that both phases of Android 13 are AGL. So we come in here with a full tech team. You essentially can run like mono tech in here and we would dominate. Now that does, you know, hurt us a little bit because our best unit by far is LR Final Form Cooler, who of course is an STR unit. Now I have built my Final Form Cooler basically full crit. Um, so it's like if we get like a couple of good rotations, Right, you know, he we could still probably nearly finish Android 13 off in, like, one turn. Um, because Final Form Cooler is it, just that powerful, right? And again, I, I do have my cooler built for full crits, because this is a character that is going to be doing a million normal attacks, right? He's just always going to be popping out normals. Um, so I feel like giving crits to those types of characters is the best way to sort of maximize um, the value that they're going to bring to the team, right? Um, most of the other characters we don't have to explain. Uh, this is the first fight where I'm busting out the tech base form cooler, the free-to-play character. I actually rather like that unit quite a bit, that tech base form cooler. I think he's really quite a solid character, actually. Um, I think he can be very, uh, impressive with his support. He gives terrifying conquerors, three key, 30% attack and defense. And then that tech base cooler, he does also stack defense as well which can be very effective. Um, so, you know, I, any of these, like, red zone fights where the big enemy is AGL, I, I do use that tech base form cooler. I've actually found him to be pretty, pretty solid um, in some of these fights here. Now we go on to the Bojack fight. Um, this is probably our first real potential struggle fight, right? Because um, remember, Bojack can be pretty devastating um, in that, you know, he can lock you and seal you at the end of the fight 100% of the time guaranteed, right? Um, all these other bosses and sealing, like bosses that lock, bosses that seal pretty much. Um, I think King Cold in the Mecha Freezing King Cold stage, he does seal every single turn, guaranteed. Um, but, like, the Metal Cooler Core, another boss that seals, he does not seal every turn, guaranteed. But what makes this Bojack fight kind of tough 
is that Bojack will lock and seal 100% guaranteed every single turn, right? Uh, which can just be an issue. Um, sealing is actually secretly one of the strongest things bosses can do nowadays. Because, um, you know, if they go ahead and seal you, many of your best units these days are getting huge amounts of defense on super attack from their super attack effects, right? You just take the seventh anniversary LRs as an example, right? You know, they get, a, after they transform, they get 100% on their 18 key, and then they're getting 50% um, on their 12 key. So it's like if they get sealed, you're cutting their defensive potential like by 75% or some shit like that, right? Like it could be very devastating for them um, depending upon, you know, how things can go. Um, so that is something we do have to worry about. Luckily, though, a lot of the characters we're rocking won't need to really super, I guess, to, to be able to survive against Bojack. The in LR Metal Cooler Army does get defense on super attack, but, you know, I, I'm bringing that unit because um, he has type advantage um, against Tech Bojack at the end. Um, we, of course, have LR Metal Cooler. If we get caught, we can have LR Metal Cooler revive for us, which, of course, can be very good. Um, and, you know, we are using several of the Golden Freezes as well, who typically wouldn't need to super, I guess, to tank. At, now, AGL LR Golden Frieza, by the time we reach Bojack, I, I don't think LR Golden Frieza would probably... I don't think he'd get one-shotted by Bojack. But he probably would take a huge amount of damage, LR Golden Frieza. So we do want to try and prevent LR Golden Frieza from being locked in slot one, um, if at all possible, right? We, we do want to be a little bit more cautious um, once we get to the Int Bojack phase. But I've had many runs with various teams against this Bojack fight, where the Int Bojack fight was actually really, really tough to get around, right? But. I think with this team, we, we should be really good to go right here. Um, oh, okay, so I decide to to gamble a little bit to keep the cooler rotation together, and it does pay out. So the thing about the cooler rotation is it's not the safest to run. Like, if Bojack had super attacked right there, you know, we would have taken a lot of damage. But with LR Metal Cooler on the team, you can kind of feel safe to sort of gamble like that sometimes. Oh, God. All right, well... <laughs> Yeah, I remember Cooler always has that in his back pocket, the ability to just have turns like that, right? Um, oh, and then base Cooler is going to get super attacked. Okay. Um, so you can run the two Coolers as a rotation sometimes, um, but, like, that's typically what happens, right? Um, base Cooler, you know, he, he is very good, and he can stack, which allows him to survive, but, I mean, he still potentially could take a lot of damage right, like that, right? You do want to make sure that you're very... Um, like, you got to be ready to be, like, just not fall in love with a specific rotation and just be able to move your characters around as needed, right? Uh, I feel like that probably will pay off for us, though, because we're going to get to this next rotation. We're still going to have both coolers, and then we're going to have, what, LR Metal Cooler in slot one? So it's like, I, I did set up our rotations perfectly to where it's like, if Bojack kills us right away, right, like, we just revive. And he probably isn't going to be able to kill LR Final Form Cooler. And then there we go, right? From this point, we should be pretty good to just decimate um, LR or the uh, Tech Bojack here.
right, guys. Now we're moving on to the Janemba fight here on the red zone. Um, Janemba is certainly a fight that, you know, can be tricky. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, though. Dude, do I... Do we... How often is it that we get the double leader rotation? Like, seriously. Like, can I breathe ever? Okay, okay. The super attack right there would have probably been an auto loss, actually. Um, we got pretty horrible opening rotation. Um, so, the Janemba fight, right? Janemba doesn't have any of the crazy gimmicks that a lot of the, you know, stronger red zone bosses, um, do have, right? But what Janemba does have is, um, just strength. He, he, he just is like a tough boss with the amount of damage he can do and stuff like that, right? By the way, Final Form Cooler tanked that really quite well. Uh, but in this first phase, Janemba actually does do a melee super attack, so... We easily could have LR Metal Cooler potentially nullify here, which could be good. Uh, remember that early on in these fights, um, it always is a very good idea and very important um, to sort of let LR Metal Cooler um, and LR Golden Frieza, let both those units kind of build up. I mean, LR Metal Cooler, I guess it doesn't really matter too much because if he doesn't build up towards the end of the fight, he could die quicker to activate his Revive V0 potentially. But LR Golden Frieza, as his damage reduction, like, he loses it, you do want to try and prioritize um, getting LR Golden Frieza his five super attacks so he gets the extra defense, right? That's very important for some of these fights. Um, and, of course, we do get the nullification in here for LR Metal Cooler. Um, I don't know what it is, but I've brought LR Metal Cooler into this Janemba fight a lot, and it seems like I Janemba is just attracted to supering. Um, that LR Metal Cooler. He just loves going for it. And I'm, I'm being a little greedy here, too, keeping LR Janemba in slot 2 so he can build up. Remember, if you if you get those uh, attacks in with LR Janemba in slot 2 and 3 early on so that he can build up, LR Janemba becomes really, really quite good um, towards the end of, end of these fights, right? Oh, that worked out. Oh, my God. What a perfect turn. Yeah, Janemba not super attacking, right? So that Janemba... Like, the boss stays alive, and then we get a stack in with Cooler. Really, really good. Um, this fight can be tough, but remember that once Janemba goes into his rage mode, he's a physical boss. So having easy a base Cooler and LR Final Form Cooler in these characters, um, we would absolutely just at disintegrate the physical LR Janemba. He is just not going to be a challenge um, towards Final Form Cooler and stuff like that. But, I mean, that's just... This team, right? This team is really, really strong. It's going to take, like, a, you know, a boss hitting, like, Cell Max. Or, you know, a boss has really nasty gimmicks. Probably to, to beat, like, a team like this, right? With LR Final Form Cooler, LR Metal Cooler. We just have so many abilities we could take advantage of that does work out very well, right? And especially, like, LR Metal Cooler, the amount of healing he does is just really so helpful in many of these fights, right? It... It does make a really big difference. You can tell, like, a, running a team with LR Metal Cooler versus a team without him, you can just feel um, the difference that he he is providing to the team uh, with his heals. So, there we go. There is the Janemba fight.
right, guys. Now we're moving on to the toughest red zone fight. So, and this still, I do think that this Broly fight still is um, the most difficult red zone fight. The Wicked Bloodline red zone is actually pretty tough. Um, but this Broly fight is really, really difficult still. Um, for all the, you know, obvious reasons, um, Broly cancels dodge the entire fight. Dodge is the strongest thing you can do, right? Um, so the fact that dodge is completely canceled in this fight makes Broly far more difficult. Um, Broly, you know, hits pretty hard in his first two phases. His tech phase certainly can catch a lot of strong characters. Um, but then once you get to his STR AoE phase, right, the AoE super attack that Broly does is just devastating, um, to the entire team, right? It, you, you, you need, like, you know, a little bit of good luck or just, like, a really, really tanky defensive team to be able to consistently make it past that AoE phase, right? Um, although, if we have, like, a pretty decent start with one of the Final Form Coolers, remember that, you know, Cooler and then uh, the Carnival LR Goku both are able to nullify, um, you know, or, or attack break the first action the boss takes with the active skill, which, you know, we could get to AoE Broly, pop Cooler Supernova, and then immediately kill his super attack, his AoE right there. And then that Broly... He doesn't hit that hard if he's not hitting you with a super attack, right? The super attack is devastating because he's doing what... It's like 800,000 damage the entire rotation. That is a lot, right? Um, a lot to potentially have to deal with. Um, now, a lot of the characters we're using here, you know, pretty obvious, you know, sort of like same basic, uh, like, lineups and setups and characters that we've used in a lot of these um, tough, you know, red zone fights um, with, you know, not only... Final Form Cooler's team, but also LR Metal Cooler's team, right? Which there is a lot of overlap on. Um, <clears throat> now, Janemba. Remember that Janemba is an absolute god in this fight. Because you can't dodge Broly, but um, Broly's last two phases, his AoE and, you know, of course, AGL Broly, one of the toughest bosses in the game. Um, both of them do Key Blast super attacks. So, Janemba does have a 50% chance to nullify um, uh, those Broly super attacks, right, in, in the last two phases, which is very good, right? Not having to deal with, you know, that piece of shit in the last phase supering you for 1.2 million damage um, is actually really, really nice, right, which Janemba can do. Um, we just want to make sure to try and get Janemba built up as much as we can. Remember, Janemba needs to do three attacks um, to fully build up in slot two or three, right? Which can be a, a bit of a nuisance sometimes to build it up, but it's worth it with how uh, strong he would get towards the end of these fights. <laughs> I LR Metal Cooler, man. I've gotten his nullification for whatever reason more than, like, any character ever. I, I, don't, I don't... Even LR Janemba, I don't know if I've got... I don't know. I probably have gotten Janemba's nullification more, but, like, dude, this LR Metal Cooler, I just... He just always does it man like anytime i go up against a boss that's doing a melee super it seems like metal cooler always is hitting it it's crazy um now it is very important in this fight as well that golden frieza gets those five super attacks in as quickly as possible we need the five super attacks of golden frieza so he has the extra defense golden frieza after his five super attacks he can live a super from agl broly at the end pretty easily right uh, remember that Golden Frieza is getting the 200% um, from LR Final Form Cooler. A lot of these characters are, right? You know, LR Janemba, all these guys. Um, now, we're also using the Tech Base Form Cooler again. Uh, I really do like the Tech Base Cooler. Um, the way this fight is going, we haven't really had a great chance to sort of build him up and stuff like that. Um, but he'll be able to help us out once we get to AGL Broly pretty, like, effectively. Because um, remember, that Tech Cooler... He builds up defense by super attacking from his passive. And then he also stacks defense um, from his super attack as well. So we will be able to build up... Oh, see, dude, th look at this turn. This is so beautiful right here. So we potentially could use Cooler's Supernova right here and kill that first action that Broly is going to do. And then, even if Broly super attacks right here... We're fine, because Final Form Cooler, after he supers, we don't have, he's, he's not going to die to this Broly, no way, right? And then if LR Metal Cooler dies, that's okay, we'll revive. And then if AGL Golden Frieza, he can't die here. So it's like we're looking in a really good spot. I think what likely happened here, though, was that... I think that was Broly's super attack, I believe, in this run. So 
you know, if, if Broly, Broly could have just chosen not to super on this turn very easily, right? But I'm, I, I do think that that probably was a super attack that we killed with the supernova, right? Like, that's, that's the strength of an active skill being able to do that. I, I believe, does he super right here? I, I No, I think I think we probably did nullify, yeah. I, I bet you Cooler nullified it right there. Then we get to this rotation, and then boom, right? Like, we we either could put Final Form Cooler in slot one and get rid of him. We could try Janemba's Rage Mode. Janemba's Rage Mode is not the craziest, right? We would get one turn where, you know, he, he can't does have a 50% chance to crit every super attack in his rage mode, but it's, it's certainly not the craziest, right? I think, I, I do like um, AGL Cell with his guaranteed crits is good. I do really like Namek Goku's rage mode, though, because he does all the orb changing. So it's like you can use Namek Goku's rage mode to set up the rotation to potentially heal yourself a lot and shit like that. I really like that. Uh, and then I wonder how we got the no item run. We get here and then like no attacks on Cooler in the middle. Although, oh, th this is... We'll be able to get the revive right here with Metal Cooler, which, of course, you know, can help us out. Um, this final phase of Broly, right, he just does a lot of damage. He potentially could double super us, right? Especially if Broly will super attack right at the start. The chances of eating that double super, the second super attack towards the end of the rotation can be very tough. But, you know, we, we did come in here with, like, Tech Cooler. Tech Base Cooler with, like, another super attack or so really should be able to potentially survive um being able to um you know eat like a super attack i have had that tech base form cooler um survive numerous super attacks in this roly fight before um and remember we do have lr metal cooler on the team from this point on if he gets caught by broly we lose but with lr metal cooler on the team we do still have the potential to heal a lot the one thing though that can be a bit scary is uh my agl tur golden frieza Right, I have him built full dodge for an obvious reason. He's there for one specific reason, to tank. Um, I, you know, have had many runs where HP under 40%, right? He doesn't have his passive up, but then he dodges for me, and then I'm able to, you know, win a run or something like that. We can't do that in the Broly fight, though, because, of course, he does cancel dodge. So, we do want to try and make sure that we are staying above 40% HP as much as possible, right? Uh, but from this point on, we are able to overtake Broly, and then we get the movie side of the red zone, no item sweep with the Final Form Cooler team. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.